We're in Salisbury Hall, which is the place where the mosquitoes were originally designed. And my name is Alistair Hodson. I'm the curator of the de Havilland Aircraft Museum. Geoffrey de Havilland was one of the pioneers of the British aviation scene. He taught himself how to fly in actual fact, and he did so in an aeroplane that he built himself. The idea of the Mosquito was that it would be a light bomber that would have the performance of a fighter, and that was a compromise that nobody had ever thought was possible. When you fly fast at low level, you have to fly with precision. The aircraft has to do exactly what you ask of it at exactly the right time you ask it. Only the Mosquito could do that for an aircraft of its size. The technology that the wooden aircraft such as the Mosquito pioneered is still very much with us to this day. It was two different sorts of wood bonded together to make something that was much stronger than the sum of its parts. And that's exactly what we do today with carbon fibre technology. Breitling and de Havilland were both pioneers in their field. Breitling pioneered the use of the chronograph. De Havilland pioneered the use of composite materials. Both of these are accepted technologies today, but somebody had to take the first step. Some people say that it was the Spitfire that won the Battle of Britain, but it was the Mosquito that won the war. The Mosquito was a masterpiece of industrial design and the outcome of that process was an aircraft that was a leader in its class.